there, it's Ruth Rowland with the middle section of Jeff Cook's fiddle part from Alabama's recording of Tennessee River. I'm going to walk you through the original part and also a simplified version at the same time. And at the end, I'll demonstrate the simplified version, the middle section of the fiddle part all the way through. If this interests you, subscribe for more videos like these. If you're interested in, in the original version, you can go to my Tennessee River recording of the entire fiddle part, which is linked below. This middle section is behind vocals, so it's a backing part. It's not the main show. And I'll show you some of the tricks that he uses to make his backing part, but I'll also show you some simpler ways to play it in case your fingers don't move as fast as his. So one trick to constructing anything, um, in bluegrass certainly, is to take just three notes of the scale. It has to be three. Three notes of the scale and play them over and over and over and over. Um, three fairly close notes, right? It's going to be easier and sound better. And that works kind of like the double shuffle. Um, if you're playing three notes over a, a beat pattern of four, it sounds like it has lots of variety, but it it still all sounds like it goes together. And you, you heard this at the beginning. The three notes that he chooses are these. And you can either play it fast like he does, or you can do it twice as slow and do half as many. Right? In which case you would end, if you were doing the slower version, you would end on the third finger instead of the open E. The open E is the end of the three note little ditty, right? To make it even out. Don't worry, it doesn't work out even if you do it the speed that he does on the recording. He only ends on the first finger and then he starts over on the third finger. So, so either way, if whether you do it the fast version or you do the simplified version, you don't get um, an even number of threes in there. And then you start over with another three. And like I said, I, I go over this more deeply in the my uh, Tennessee River video linked below. But for for you wanting a simpler version, let's do the slow version. And then continue with that speed. The original version is that, much faster, but that. Um, and so I just took out some notes. Well, I did continued with the speed we were going before, the half speed. And then I left out some notes so that we still had the same sort of vibe as the recording. And you can do the same thing. You can choose totally opposite notes, or you can learn the, the version on the recording, even if you do the slow version. little lick is well worth learning. So again, I did slur these two notes, okay, but played them on the same bow. So my bow worked out in the right, go, going in the right direction. Just finish that bar. And then from there, we play the original is this part since it repeats we can do it by only playing one so next we have more double shuffle right this part 
is very much like what we had before. Right? And we can use the same trick we used of doing the notes half as fast. And like I said, you can play any notes that you want, but these notes work sort of to make a simplified version. I just experimented and chose notes that sounded good. So I'll turn this way so you can see what my fingers are doing. And I'm going to play the entire middle section simplified version. And again, if you want to look at the original version, um, I have that linked below. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> If you're new here, subscribe to learn more about playing backup, including the Nashville number system. See you soon.